again welcome to the class of thermodynamic lecture number 2 in this lecture we will study different process and ideal gas equation and then we will further study the energy interaction that is your work and heat first of all we will start with the ideal gas equation and different process for an ideal gas first of all we will start with the ideal gas equation and different process process we know that the number of moles the number of moles that is written as small m will be always equal to mass of a gas that is small m upon molecular weight. Molecular weight that is your capital M. Where R1 is given as universal gas constant. Constant. Its value is 8.314 kilojoule. 8.314 joule per mole Kelvin. The ideal gas equation. Ideal gas equation is given as P V is equal to M R T where P pressure of the gas that is your absolute pressure V volume of the gas and T absolute temperature of the gas and mass of the gas and R specific gas constant we know that we know that n is equal to n number of molecule multiplied by molecular weight m substitute the value in ideal gas equation substitute the value in ideal gas equation then p v is equal to n m r t but again we know that Capital N into R is equal to universal gas constant. It means PV is equal to number of mole N R bar to T. That is again the ideal gas equation in the term of number of mole. Ideal gas equation in the term of number of mole. Then different process, different process. First process is constant volume process or isochoric process. This process is also known as isometric process. If we will see the diagram on PV diagram, then the pressure may be increased but the volume remains constant if we will see process 1 to 2 or in this way we will see the process 1 to 2. In both the process we will see the pressure is changing but with respect to pressure or with respect to temperature your volume is constant. 
So if you will follow the ideal gas equation in this equation, in this process, you will see volume is constant and if we follow the ideal gas equation P1 V1 upon T1 is equal to P2 V2 upon T2 but again V1 is equal to V2 so for the constant volume process P1 upon T1 is equal to P2 upon T2. And the second isovaric or constant pressure process. Isovaric or constant in constant pressure process throughout the process pressure is constant it may be the change of the volume. Again in isovaric process isovaric process P is equal to constant. So again we will see the ideal gas equation in this case we will see the V1 upon T1 is equal to V2 upon T2. That is again the ideal gas equation for the isovaric process. And third process, isothermal, isothermal process or hyperbolic process or hyperbolic process. If a system undergo such a process in which the temperature is is constant then the process is called as hyperbolic process or isothermal process that is the diagram of a isothermal process in this process temperature will be constant the process is called as isothermal process or the ideal gas equation will be converted for the isothermal process is equal to P1 V1 is equal to P2 V2 or P1 V1 is equal to MRT because temperature is constant and the next fourth process is your adiabatic process adiabatic process in adiabatic process adiabatic process heat transfer to the system or from the system system is zero it follow p v raised to gamma is equal to constant p v raised to gamma is equal to constant If we will see the same process on PV diagram, this is the representation of process that have an adiabatic and the slope of the curve is represented by the PV raised to gamma is equal to constant. For the two states, for two states, of a system it is given by P1 V1 raised to gamma is equal to P2 V2 raised to gamma and if we will see the T2 by T1 is equal to P2 by P1 raised to gamma minus gamma 
गाउ माइनस वन अपॉन गामा इज इक्वल टू वी वन अपॉन वी टू रेस टू गामा माइनस वन दैट इज अगेन रिप्रेजेंटेशन एंड द रिलेशन ऑफ द टेम्परेचर प्रेशर एंड वॉल्यूम लाइटिंग गामा इज द रेशियो ऑफ स्पेसिफिक हीट एट द कॉन्स्टेंट प्रेशर एंड कॉन्स्टेंट वॉल्यूम इन जनरल केस केस द वैल्यू ऑफ गामा इज ग्रेटर देन वन फॉर एयर द वैल्यू ऑफ गामा इज टेकन एन वन पॉइंट फोर then the last process is polytropic process polytropic process in the polytropic process polytropic process heat transfer is possible is possible it follow pv raised to n is equal to constant where n is equal to polytropic index in general n is greater than 1 and it is less than gamma it means you can say the value of the palletropic index is greater than 1 or less than gamma if we will see the same relationship in the pressure volume and temperature on pv diagram then we will see is follow pv raised to n is equal to constant or for the two state of a system p1 v1 raised to n is equal to p2 v2 raised to n or t2 y t1 is equal to p2 y p1 raised to n minus 1 upon n is equal to v1 y v2 raised to n minus 1 then the representation of representation of different process process on pv diagram if we have to plot all the process on a diagram that is your pv diagram how will we recognize each and every process that is the main problem for the student and this problem is ask number of time in a gate examination if on a pv diagram this is a point and from this point the number of lines are draw that 0 0 2 1 2 to 2 and i'll draw other line or curve with other pen this one 0 to 3 0 to 4 and last one i'll draw 0 to 5 and the question is start how will you recognize on the pv diagram on the pv diagram which process is isobaric process which is isothermal and which is adiabatic and which is polytropic process if you will see 0 to 1 process and 0 to 2 process there is no problem in this process you directly say 0 to 1 process is your 
isobaric process but the problem and 0 to 2 is isochoric process but the problem is start from 0 to 3, 0 to 4 and 0 to 5 I will represent all the process with this very simple manner let's consider a representation PV raised to capital N is equal to constant. That is a very simple representation of PV diagram where N represents the slope of a PV diagram. Okay. Just I will change the value of N and we will find the number of process. First of all, I will write First of all, I will write n is equal to 0. The value of n is equal to 0. Then we will see when n will equal to 0, p is equal to constant or you can say the pressure is, the process is isobaric process. Okay. Okay. Again after that, I will change the value of n is equal to infinite. Then you will see the volume is equal to constant. Simply you can say the isochoric process. Choric process. And if you will substitute the value of n is equal to 1, then you will see the PV is equal to constant. It is nothing but it is isothermal process. It is isothermal process. But again if you will put the value of n is equal to gamma, this will be the process is your adiabatic process. Adiabatic process. And if you will substitute the value of capital N is equal to small n, it is nothing but it is PV raised to N is equal to constant. That is your polytropic process. Polytropic process. And in this way you can see in a very simple manner you have designed all the process. It means if you will move from 0 to 1 to 0 to 2 that is from here to here. 0 to 1 to 0 to 2 with the help of 0 to 3, 0 to 4 and 0 to 5 you will see from 0 to 1 the value of n is equal to 0, 0 to 2 the value of n is equal to infinite it means all these curves will have the value of n from 0 to infinite. It means when you will move from 0 to 1 to 0 to 3 you will see that must be greater than value of n is equal to 0 it is nothing but n is equal to 1 that means temperature is equal to constant first 0 to 3 process is your isothermal process but again you know the n is greater than 1 but less than gamma it means line 4 curve 4 that means between the 0 to 3 and 0 to 5, you simply think it is nothing but it is polytropic process. And the process 0 to 5 is your PV raised to gamma is equal to constant. That is your, I think it must be adiabatic process, right? So this process is polytropic, this process is isobaric process, this process is isochoric process and till now you can represent all the process. It means simply you can say the slope of isothermal curve on the PV diagram is lesser edge compared to slope of polytropic as well as slope of adiabatic process. Right. Again we will see the numerical representation or the numerical value of this slope 
of isothermal as well as adiabatic process. First of all, we will start the slope of isothermal process on PV diagram. Let's consider a PV diagram that is 1 to 2 is a process and we have to check the slope of isothermal curve on PV diagram. We know that PV is equal to MRT that is your ideal gas equation but for the isothermal curve for the isothermal process T is a constant and we will differentiate the equation. Differentiate the equation. Then we will see PdV plus VdP is equal to 0 or the slope of isothermal process is equal to minus Py V. That is the slope of isothermal process. Again we will see the slope of adiabatic process on PV diagram. Slope of adiabatic process on PV diagram. This is your adiabatic process and for an adiabatic process we know that PV raised to gamma is equal to constant. Again differentiate the equation. The equation we will get dp raised to dv is equal to minus gamma p upon v and we know that minus p upon v is nothing but the slope of area slope of isothermal process it means with the help of these two expressions we can see the slope of adiabatic process the slope of adiabatic process of adiabatic process adiabatic process is gamma time of slope of isothermal process. It means we can say with the help of this numerical expression the slope of adiabatic process is always higher than the slope of isothermal process. Again we can prove the same slope of polytropic process. Slope of polytropic process is equal to n that is your polytropic index time of slope of isothermal process. Slope of isothermal process. The next and very important topic of thermodynamic we will start energy interaction. That is your work and heat. First of all we will start with the thermodynamic with the thermodynamic work. The work is said to be said to be done by the system system its sole effect sole effect on external thing things can be equated to raising of weight. Weight may not be raised, 
may not be raised but its effect can be equated raising the weight let's consider an example of battery and motor this is your battery and with the help of this battery i connect a motor and with the shaft of a motor i connect a fan i'll consider a boundary then if you will see the actual problem in this one now weight is raised but if you will just convert your system just convert your system into the equivalent system then i'll just replace my fan this one is again is a battery i just replace my fan with a pulley i have replaced my fan with a pulley and with the help of this pulley i will just hang a weight down if you will switch on then the power supply will rotate the shaft of the motor and with the rotation of the shaft your weight will be lift with some direction that is your x in the direction of w it means you can say in actual practice in actual practice your weight is not raised but its effect is equating the raising of the weight with the distance of x and again if you will see if you will check the case number 1 and the case number 2 in this one the boundary is that is your boundary the boundary is drawn between the motor and the external thing that is your surrounding but i'll just consider the case number i'll just consider the case number third that is your battery this one is your again motor and again i'll consider fan or pulley because in both the case you have considered or you have just found out that in both the case work has been done by the system i'll just consider in the third case that is the boundary is made between the battery and motor when again i'll consider the case number 4 that is your battery with the help of battery this one is a motor and this one is a fan i consider in this case this one is a boundary it means whole system i have consider as a closed system and after that i'll consider a boundary that is your case number 4 this one is case number 4 3 if we will study from case number 1 2 3 and 4 it means in first case we will see in first case we will see the work is done by the shaft of the motor it means it is called as shaft work or mechanical work mechanical work in 1 and 2 it is called act mechanical work but when you will see when you will see the figure 3 only the work is done due to the transformation of the electron by the battery it means it is called as electrical work electrical work and if you will consider this as a complete system now work is done by the system it means 
in this case case number 4 no work is done by the system oh my god can you move from can you move from figure 1 to figure 4 you will see as well as you change the boundary the nature of the boundary is going to change it means it is nothing but that is the most important star point work is a boundary phenomenon phenomenon and again you will see work is done by the system only when energy transit from one point to another point it means again work is a transient form of energy and this is star point these star point which are made in each and every chapter are very very important for every written at some point of view. Then the sign convention sign convention of work. If the work is done on the system, this is your system, if work is done on the system that is called as work input for example in the refrigerator it is considered as a negative work. If the work is done by the system that is your work output for example in the turbine as well as in the turbine <coughs> or any IC engine it is considered as work output or it is considered as positive work. So work input which is given to the system is considered as a positive work done and work output sorry 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 it is considered it is considered as negative work done it is considered as negative work done and work output it is always considered as a positive work output or work done. That is the sign convention of work. Then the generalized equation. For closed system. For closed system work. If we will consider an example of closed system that is complete closed system inside the system a gas having the pressure of P is held and this is a piston cylinder arrangement without a valve it is considered as a closed system when with the application of the pressure the piston move with a little distance that is your dx the cross section area of the piston is A and then we will check the force applied by the gas on the piston is given by pressure into area that is exerted force by the piston by the gas on the piston then if you will see the work done by the gas it will given by work done by the gas it will given by for a small displacement of for a small displacement of delta x, it is given by f into dx, but we know that f is equal to p into a into dx and we know that area into a small displacement is given as a change of complete volume of that portion. It means work done will be considered as work done will be considered as for a complete system is equal to PDV. This is the equation of work done for the non flow or closed system. Non flow or closed system work done.
for the reversible process because if the friction is occur or the work done or any energy is lost due to the friction the amount of the work done with this equation will be reduced so again we will plot the same diagram for the same process on pv diagram then we will see for the small change of volume the pdv is nothing but for the small change of volume the pdv is nothing but that is the area of pv diagram so the work done for a closed system is equal to area under pv curve about volume axis i am writing about volume axis because it is the area only about the volume axis if we will change about the pressure axis the nature of the area will be changed so i am only write writing the area under pv diagram or pv curve about volume axis is given as the work done for the closed system and for the reversible process so if we will see the same diagram having two parts i have just make a diagram that move from 1 to 2 having a path a and move from 1 to 2 again having a path b and if we will see the area of area of path 1 a 2 it never equal to area of path 1 b 2 it means the work done in the process 1 a 2 is never equal to work done 1 b 2 from this equation it is completely clear that work change with respect to path it means a golden point is given work is a path function path function and it is given by work is given by in exact in exact differential so always it is written by either del w or del w or delta w so in the starting where we have right dw we will write is at a del w okay in adjacent differential now the closed system work system work for various reversible process for various reversible process we will find the closed system work first of all we will see constant volume process constant volume process in which the volume is constant 1 to 2 then we will check the value of the work done from 1 to 2 state is equal to pdv but dv is equal to 0 in this case so work done for the closed system in constant volume process is equal to 0 again we will check the work done for the constant pressure process constant pressure process
in constant pressure process this is pb diagram of constant pressure process and this one is the p is the pressure and this is the volume of one state and this is the volume of two state if we will check the area of this portion will be given by del w is equal to p dv or if you have to find the work done from one to two state that will be the integration of e dv this will be equal to p v2 minus v1 it means the work done for the constant volume process will be equal to constant pressure into change of volume and process number 3 work done for the isothermal process work done for the isothermal process for the isothermal process you will see temperature is constant so in isothermal process 1 to 2 T is a constant we will find the equation of the work done we know that the work done is equal to P D V but again P1 V1 P2 V2 V V is equal to constant if we will integrate and substitute the value of the pressure del V is equal to C by V dv we will integrate from one state to two state to find the value of the work done one to two then your work done one to two will be equal to p1 v1 ln v2 y v1 or equal to p2 v2 ln v2 y v1 or mrt ln v2 y v1 that is the work equation for the isothermal process again we will the work done for the polytropic process work done work done for the adiabatic process adiabatic process this is the adiabatic process in which the process follow PV raised to gamma is equal to constant. This is 1 to 2 process. Again, the work done for the polytropic uh, for the adiabatic process is equal to P into dV. And we know that for the adiabatic process, PV raised to gamma is equal to P1, V1 raised to gamma is equal to P2, V2 raised to gamma is equal to constant. So substitute the value of the P in the work equation and integrate it. Then we will find C dV upon V raised to gamma. For finding the work done from one state to two state, we will integrate the equation and we will find the work done from one to two will be equal to P1 V1 minus P2 V2 upon gamma minus 1 or is equal to mr t1 minus t2 upon gamma minus 1 that is the work equation for the end. finally we will find the expression for the polytropic process for a reversible polytropic process process expression will be the same as the adiabatic process only gamma will be replaced by gamma will be replaced by polytropic index and gamma will be replaced by polytropic index and will be replaced by polytropic index m t1 minus t2 upon n minus 1 that is the work done for the polytropic process. In this way, the different process and ideal gas equation and with this, the work done for the different process has been completed and now, in further lecture, we will discuss the heat transfer and the very important law of thermodynamic that is your first law of thermodynamic and the application of
پس رابطه رو مدنی میکنن یک لحظه 